what's up everybody this is jay and this is my snowfall season four episode nine recap for sleeping dogs now this season been crazy and it looked like it's about to finally come to a head where franklin gonna have to clean house with his crew and i can't wait because all of these people that's been coming for him they need to go and i think he realizes it's time he can't trust nobody if you're new to the channel please subscribe i really appreciate your support I'm about to break it down so let's get into it now when the episode first start off we remember we last left off with uh t snitching dry snitching to man boy while they was sipping on old b600 next thing you know franklin and he just caught her ass and said how long you been playing me t so when it picks up in this episode she's over here singing like a jaybird telling her that man boy had bumped into her at a party told her that you know he remember her from back in the day and that hey i'll give you 100 g's if you go ahead and work with uh franklin to find out the plug because he came to her little shop and he thought you know that they can do something but then after she went and met with him and she liked him she said she didn't want to do it and he threatened to kill her brother and even had him get beat so now he said you should have came to me he reached for the page and she thought it was about to be the gun she was spooked but anyway he went to go and get on the phone she tripping because she knows she didn't made the wrong decision she should have came to franklin like he told her but anyway she said hey you ain't known for being very uh you know forgiving so franklin get the page and it's from uh you know leon and he go to stop jerome and jerome tell him man take this gun nephew we gonna go ahead and man up and so he's like look we gotta be careful okay uh t she been over here and she been snitching the man boy we gotta go ahead and get it together he said oh yeah how that feel he said look they gonna be waiting for you all right if you go they gonna kill you and whoever dumb enough to go with you he said you been wrong on every turn nephew wrong and so he's about to leave so then we see franklin walking he like look you gotta be careful we can't do that I'm, I, we could use t and give him some wrong intel and then set him up and get him on our terms he said i'm tired of all the plotting god made uzi so you don't have to be smart come on leon let's go and then he gave leon the uzi he ready to go and so while he was doing that franklin standing in front of the i rock z he like all right if this what you want then this is what it's gonna be come on he said you got two seconds to move no come on let's go you want to fight let's go then they like man y'all don't gotta do this you stay back all right you stay there so next thing you know jerome then dropped him like a bad habit gave him a little combo real quick and he said you had enough and so franklin get up and he try he hurting uh, uh, and he said come on let's go jerome get his little war face together and then franklin slipped and got him with one he like okay so next thing you know jerome Jerome duped him up real good, hit him in the shoulder. Franklin crying, hurt bad in the spot where he didn't got shot, he didn't got punched. Jerome, he stay down. Let now move. Next thing you know, Franklin get up, try to fight. He didn't threw Franklin up against the car. Franklin and got whooped good. And so next thing you know, everybody look at Franklin hurt, and he like, all right, you had enough. And Franklin say, when my when when your sister and and your wife ask me what did i do to stop you i'm gonna tell him i did everything i could to stop you that's what i'm gonna tell him and so then jerome feeling bad and everything about it because he know if something go wrong what's gonna happen meanwhile t is trying to tell him that what happened wasn't man boy fault that was khadijah fault and everybody just looking at her while she trying to basically talk her way out of not making the call and she like i didn't tell man boy nothing you had to believe me that was all on khadijah and then jerome say looking at her and then he just turned the uzi towards her and say make the fork and call and so next thing you know she get ready to make the fork and call and so she spooked and so she called man boy man boy was sitting there playing with dominoes with his little uh buster friends your move buster and so he get the phone call he like yeah what's up 
and she said uh yeah franklin he ready to make the deal he's like yeah you told me that already what's up she's like no i mean he want to go ahead and get you the plug right now he said you know that uh he he want to meet up and he's like well what happened what made him change his mind she said well when louis got shot he realized he don't want a war he's like what about jerome jerome they got into it but jerome don't want a war either they want to meet you at this spot uh under this bridge he's like yeah i know the spot she's like all right well that's where they want to be he's like all right i'll be there with me and mines and so then he got off and franklin gave her the little stare down meanwhile we see irene making a little pot of irish coffee putting a little bit of oil in her coffee and now she about to go ahead and talk with sadat x over here and dumbass alton they about to dry snitch on the radio and so now they on co intel pro radio and he like all right this is uh miss irene abe she like it's abe and she's like okay so what did we gotta say she like uh yeah i want to talk about the cia bringing drugs into the community and i'm prepared to release the name and the uh, alias of the agent doing it if they don't put an end to this meanwhile teddy and gustavo listening and he pissed so now we see man boy show up at tea house instead of the meeting point talking about come on now i smell that pink lotion i know you in there and so she opened the door what you doing franklin is waiting on you and he just yoke her up real quick and he like what you think i'm stupid i know that you didn't been over here trying to work against me now and so she like no i'm not he like you know what i'm gonna kill you and your bro other. and so he got her on the floor but she got a little blade she didn't stuck up in him like you know a damn christmas turkey so now he's sitting over here hurt real quick she scooped back with her little knife and she didn't brought a knife to a gunfight so he stand up about getting ready to shoot her but before he knew what happened he didn't caught two in the chest real fast from franklin and uh leon standing there on the side so franklin pop him real quick he didn't drop his gun falling up against the wall franklin's stone face like a killer so his boys in the car they hear the two shots they start laughing talking about some ha 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 i guess she ain't believe he was serious and next thing you know they get swiss cheesed up real nice with silences with uzis on them uzis with silences and uh we see that it was uh jerome and peaches and they done aired them out like dirty draws and so next thing you know they like uh nobody is there and so there's he got no no help drew inside and so now he trying to reach for his gun but he's so weak and about ready to die franklin stop him with the cane and so he like turn you over and he like yeah how you know i'd be here he like you he was always smart drew but you was never that smart she tried to walk away jerome like where the hell you going and so he pick up his gun and so now he pissed he want to say a couple last words y'all all pathetic y'all sorry jerome you your nephew's bitch and you know you you soft you had pussy wood from a girl that would take orders from me and leon your best dude got carved like a christmas ham you ain't do nothing franklin just pop him two more times blah blah and he's sitting there <coughs> and he didn't took four shots right now he's still trying to survive and uh and then we see uh everybody just looking at him and he like uh, uh, why don't you finish me like a man franklin and franklin boosh pop one right through his big ass throat talking too damn much and so now he choking on his own blood jerome he always did talk too damn much and so now they done stared him down killed him without a problem and then they just turned towards t real stone face she started backing up because she know damn her nose is numbered and instead franklin go ahead and put the gun in her hand and say all right you gonna own up to this you tell him it was a robbery call the police and you'll come up with something for them people outside you a good liar and so now she's sitting there don't know what to do he said if you go ahead i'll make sure your your brother's safe and so then they leave meanwhile we see the phone on the floor over there with scully he put the phone back khadijah sitting there he like what's up and then she's like yeah saint he killed man boy and so he like what 
I told that fool not to keep pushing for that connect, for that plug, because she picked up the ashtray, bust him upside the head, he didn't fall in his drawers, and he like, what the hell you do that for? And she like staring at him, and then he mad, but he ain't really want to hit her or do nothing, so they just stared down, she pissed, and so she goes straight to the phone and start making a call, and we see that she calling Black Diamond in Dallas, she over here painting Barbie chairs, and so she like, I ain't about to pick up the phone, mess up my pet cure for no bill collectors and so then she pick up the phone she like hello she said yeah i'm doubling the bounty and so he like man you need to get that hate out your heart and so she just staring him down meanwhile we see that louis is in the hospital with jerome and then franklin show up and he all beat up and swole up and so she's like uh he say hey you should see the other guy she said who jerome and he's like oh she know everything and so jerome like yeah and she know that khadijah is next and so she like yeah you need to go ahead and contact Black Diamond and, and let him know. He like, man, what's in your damn IV, Sherm? And she said, no, you contact Black Diamond in Dallas and tell him that you give him more money. And then uh, Franklin say, that is a good plan. We can do that and use it against him. So next thing you know, we see Teddy, he getting his office packed up and he leaving. He go ahead and give Gustavo Dapp and say, be careful and watch your back. They don't care about you. That no problem. I always do it. Meanwhile, we see Sissy. She in the damn uh, hospital. And she talking with Jerome. And she's like, look, I ain't going to tell you what to do. I hope y'all don't get no damn hospital beds next to him. But I understand more now than I ever did. You didn't do this just for money. It was for respect. Franklin didn't do this because of what you had. It's because of what I didn't have. Meanwhile, we see Black Diamond and Dallas counting their ducats in the back of the little stripper room when all of a sudden somebody opened up the door and then next thing you know, she got the strap pulled on her real fast like, girl, you better knock. You better got popped and got a hole in your head. She like, no, is somebody here to see you? Wanda, so Wanda like, damn, I need to be like y'all. They said, don't nobody want to see your dust ass, rust ass on no pole. She like, no, I'm trying to get paid. I got some real info. I know where Leon is, but I'm going to need some of that bounty. I got shot and they ain't even give a damn. So they looking like, okay. Meanwhile, we see Ivy said, you know, I love it. The magic mushroom is really good. It's my favorite. What's, what's going on? What are you doing? And he said, hey, I'll be back. I ain't leaving just yet. He like, oh, what did you mean? It's always going to be another problem. You need to just leave this business. Why don't you come and work with me? You have it, the know-how. Well, you can work with me, make it the money, and it would be great. Meanwhile, we see that Black Diamond and Dallas roll up in the little BMW. They rolling good. And then Wanda, little crack lips, is talking about, that where Leon, they right there. But before they can do anything, they get hemmed up in the 211 with the IROG Z and Jerry, Jerry Curl Jones. And so they got the straps pointed at them. And so now they scared. They got Wanda talking about, y'all make a move. I'm going to put a hole in this bitch head. They like, hold up now. We ain't here for that, what it look like. We came for a business opportunity. We know that what happened with Louis wasn't personal. Y'all was just chasing the money. They like, yeah, so Jerome ain't mad. They like, no, he mad, but he understand the game. So here, we offering you a business opportunity. Wanda like, y'all gonna get him a job, but you ain't gonna get me one. They like, Wanda, we already working with you. We can give you a chance to come off the cold. You can work with us. We don't work with no men. Work with us then. And they said, this your only chance to come off the, out the cold. And so then they throw a little stack right there. He says, it's more than that where it came from. We got more money than God. You come work with us. You ain't got to be a free agent. You got to do a full-time employment. And so they decide. They say, all right, what you want us to do? Meanwhile, we see Khadijah on the phone and she get the call that they got Leon. So she get the gun and she like, yeah, Black Diamond in Dallas got Leon. Let's go. And so then he don't want to go. She like, so if you can't get with this, we ain't got nothing else to talk about. And so she leave. He like, Khadijah, Khadijah. And so she leave and he scully like, you got to get that hate up out your heart. Meanwhile, we see Irene and she over there working on the paperwork and then Teddy walk up and so she gets scared like she done seen the angel of death. He say all that paperwork about me. And so she she's like, uh, she ain't she's speechless. He sit down and he's like, uh, you know, 
they they tried to screw me after all the stuff that I did and built this ship from the ground up and they want to throw me overboard. Uh uh. They think they can screw me. Oh hell no. You got your tape recorder. And so she get the tape recorder. And so he ready to tell her everything. He said, you know what? Let me get a drink first. Because she said, tell me everything from the beginning. So while he at the bar, I thought he was going to put something in a drink. But they don't show that. They just show him get the uh, drinks and come back. And so he go ahead and give her her drink. She been drinking a lot lately. And he go ahead and down his drink like it ain't no problem so then she have her drink and then next thing you know we see they talking and the tape recorders out and he started spilling the beans meanwhile we see leon and he got his hands behind his back like he tied up and then black diamond and dallas bring in khadijah but before she could pull out her gun they stop her put the gun to her chest like this ain't personal and then then she like i'll triple whatever they paying you and then franklin and everybody come out and they like it's more than gonna have to be triple this is more than that and so she said oh okay so first you gonna kill my daughter and now you gonna kill me and leon like man look I just want to apologize. It wasn't like that. I, I just wish I could take everything back if I could. And she's like, yeah, well, you can't. Okay. And I want you to know I'm going to haunt your ass for the rest of your life for what you did. And so Leon is sitting here trying to talk to her. He said, I'm trying to make amends with you right quick. She's like, what? Why I got to be the bigger person, huh? Why I got to be the bigger person? And before she could finish talking, because Leon is trying to be cool with her, uh, Jerome getting pissed. He didn't put one in her back, shot her, killed her. She on the floor. <laughs> Leon, damn. Why you do that, Jerome? You ain't have to do that. And Jerome looked like, yeah, screw her. But then as she sat there laying there bleeding and dying, Jerome started feeling a little sorry a little bit in his face. It looked like he may start to have remorse, but they got scared, Black Diamond and Dallas, but they didn't end up messing with him. And Leon is sitting here about to cry, He, but he held it in, and he looked like really sad and really remorseful about what's happening because now this girl and her, and her baby is dead. And, you know, it's not all his fault, but he do feel responsibility. And as she was bleeding out, Jerome, I think, is starting to sink in. He a killer. Meanwhile, we see that they drunk. Teddy trying to help her. She like, don't touch me. And he's like, I'm sorry. She said, you're not a good person still, even though you're trying to do this. He said, I just don't know what to do. I I'm trying. And he pull off and leave. Meanwhile, we see Sissy at the hospital with Louie, and Louie sitting there kind of sleep, trying to fight for what's going on, when all of a sudden, we get another visitor, and it's that snitch Alden, and so he walk up, so she say, how long before you leave? Uh, I ain't leaving. I, I had the passports, but that was for us. If you ain't going, I ain't leaving. And so she's like, uh, he said, how you doing? She say, I'm just so tired. And so he give a hug and they embrace. And while they sitting there, you know, hugged up, embraced and whatever, showing love, Franklin say, what the hell you doing here? And so now they know they in trouble. And he like, I was coming to check on your mother. Ninja, that ain't your job no more. You need to leave. And so he's like, what happened to your face? Hey, it ain't, don't worry about that. It's time for you to go. And so he said, get the fork out of here. And he leave and Sissy kind of feel like she kind of caught again in between the two of them. And she knows she wrong for getting with him because he put everybody in that situation. Meanwhile, Irene is up here about to fall asleep at the wheel, trying to roll the window down. She's struggling next to, you know, she passed out sleep at the wheel, literally. Meanwhile, we see Scully go to identify the body of Khadijah and he heartbroken. She dead in the morgue. He crying. He give her a kiss on the head and now it may really transform him meanwhile irene then crashed somewhere with her head on the steering wheel and somebody leaned her back and her head nose busted bleeding and then we see that it's teddy and he didn't really put something in her drizzank or something to make her pass out and then he basically suffocated her and put her to sleep permanently he told her next time you ain't gonna wake up and then he took the tape recorder and put a bottle of pills in her bag and then just left her ass looking like a drunk driving accident meanwhile on the news that's exactly what they said it was a drunk driving accident and she was dead and so now franklin mama and franklin see it and now she's realizing oh snap 
this is serious like my friend my son i had people killed and then all of a sudden here come uh teddy walking in while she was just not realizing what the, how the severity of this, the the hole they in and so franklin come and he's like yeah well i saw what happened with irene and teddy like hey shouldn't drive drunk and so he say oh that's all it is he say hey i'm not here for her what we gonna do about your father and so they sitting there and they didn't say nothing but that's another jam meanwhile this idiot is now seeing on the news that irene is dead and i don't know what made him think that she would be able to protect him or his family now it's time for some real talk now this episode was extremely good i really enjoyed it i love how they wrote it and it was so realistic and how everything was played and all the things and and drama that everybody went through i like how franklin was had to stop jerome and jerome ended up having to give him a two piece in the biscuit before he realized that maybe i should wait because they'll be waiting on me i like how they use tea i said in the comments on the last video and you all can check it somebody said that they would use her to to set him up uh, man boy and I said the only way that'll work is if they did it over the phone while they would be right next to her and that's exactly what happened because she wasn't trustworthy now I don't know about trying to use her to cover up that and and lie and this and that because in the end she may just tell the truth and try to get witness protection on the ass so I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do but hey he didn't want to kill her but he did put her in a bad situation and she know that he a killer so she better watch what the hell she say and do also man boy was a dumbass i mean he he should have tried to make the meat but he was smart in thinking that she was setting him up but he didn't check the house first which is something you always do before you go and try to do something like that make sure nobody else is there and in his last dying breath he tried to say they was dumb this that and the other but in the end if they was dumb this that and the other then what's that make you because they outsmarted your ass so how smart are you if you got outsmarted by they dumb ass and uh we see black diamond and dallas uh they did some real like stripper killers or something like what the hell these girls is dirty um they betrayed their girl their best friend for some more money and and you know security with franklin and them so uh i think in the end they can't be trusted and they gonna have to take their ass out too eventually and we see that jerome uh i think jerome is starting to have a little remorse for all the people he killed and everything even when he had went to little rock he said you turning these people into killers or they gonna be killed and i think it's starting to add up and weigh on his conscience about being a killer i love how teddy took out i Irene, dumbass i thought at first he was gonna put something in her drink but when they didn't show it i was thinking okay maybe he didn't and then when she got in the car i thought well maybe she gonna have her brakes fail or blow up or something but that would have been kind of obvious if she blew up that somebody wanted her dead so to see that he actually did put something in her drink and then it made it look like she had a drunk driving accident was genius i mean who the hell did she think she was you a little asian lady you can't even protect yourself and let alone protect somebody else and now uh, you got fired you got your story canceled and now you didn't went on little sadat x radio show as if you know that's gonna protect you and then you made a threat talking about you gonna put his personal name and cover out there so that he could get killed uh or worse uh it, yeah she she said too much went too far and it was just a wrap and last i think scully is about to get activated he tried to get sanctified he tried to get that hate out his whore you got to get that hate out your whore but i think now his his daughter is dead his girl is dead her brother is dead everybody is dead and now what he supposed to go to work with them and get money i think he's ready to be on the suicide mission now and i think franklin gonna have to take him out hey look here man i ain't trying to take you out but if that's what need to be man that's what i'm gonna have to do all right hey how long you been playing me t and she tried to spill the beans and act as if you know she didn't have a way to talk to franklin because she was scared he ain't gonna forgive and i like how he said i guess we'll never know and hey she'd have been better off coming at him and letting him know straight up and he could have used her the same way he did but 
she wouldn't have been left holding the bag. In the end, I love this episode. It was a great television episode with a whole lot of great writing. It made it look realistic and truthful. Y'all let me know what y'all rated in the uh, comments. I give it about a nine. So that's a damn good episode. Um, you all let me know what you think. Also, I was live tweeting. So follow me on Twitter. From now on, when I'm doing the shows and they're watching them live, I'm going to be on Twitter and giving my input live. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The links is in the description box below. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Peace, and I'm out.